Homestead Blessings. Today we'd like to share with you Homestead hints, tips, recipes, and other blessings. So come and join us as we get started. It's fall here in Tennessee and it's time to plant garlic. <laughs> These are really, really nice garlic bulbs. Very, very nice. And uh, we grew these last year. And these are our seeds. So we're very excited about taking these bulbs and we're gonna use them for seed this year to plant more garlic next year. And it will be fantastic. Um, we grow them this time in the fall, we should have garlic in, for us, we'll have it around June. Um, a lot of times I've really believed that growing early fall is the best because it gives the roots a chance and... Right, to a, it gives them a chance to get growing before the cold weather sets in. And then when the cold weather comes, they kind of go dormant a little bit. And then when it starts warming up in the spring, they start really growing. And usually if you plant it like around September, mid-September you can harvest in June or July. That's wonderful. Around here right. it's usually June. Around here. Okay, so what, what we're going to do first is we're going to take this bulb apart right here because we have many seeds in there and they're called cloves. Right, so we're just taking a, a bulb and you want to get your, you want to pick out your biggest, nicest looking bulbs. And you can find organic garlic at um, farmer's markets, at the grocery store. Um, we recommend, you know, if you can find organic. If you can't, that's okay because you'll be growing it organically, hopefully. Um, so you can just purchase this. If you don't have neighbors who grow it, um, find it in the supermarket. And what you want to do is you want to pick out your biggest bulbs and then you just start peeling some of this paper away. You don't want to peel it all away. You want to peel some of the paper away and just start breaking it up into cloves. Y'all, we can make paper with the, with the garlic paper later. Yeah, save you can this. Yeah. Don't save forget. your paper. <laughs> don't forget. No, okay. you don't want to peel away all the paper, just enough so that you can break your garlic into cloves. And you break it into cloves. And then after you break it all into cloves, or as you're breaking it into cloves, you want to make sure that you pick out any where the paper comes off and some of the garlic, actual garlic, is exposed because it will tend to rot a little quicker if it's if the garlic is exposed and then it you know it won't grow before it'll rot. So We've picked out any that the paper is coming off and we're just going to save those and use them up in the kitchen. You want your nice cloves that are totally enclosed in the paper and those are going to be the ones that will grow really well for you. So you want to get your garlic ready by breaking it into cloves. Now we're ready to plant the garlic clove in our beautiful bed here. It's a, it started out a raised bed and it's not so raised anymore but that's okay because we've got wonderful wonderful compost in here and garlic really likes rich loose uh, soil that'll drain real well. It, it rather be right it doesn't like wet feet so <laughs> you want to uh, pick a site where the water doesn't stand. You want it well drained. Well drained. And so what we're going to do to measure our garlic when we plant it, we found a really neat little uh, tip that we'd like to share with y'all. A lot of times the garlic needs to be about three to six inches apart uh, while it's growing. And well, we thought we'd use this to measure a piece of lattice. And that kind of makes it pretty fast. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Neat. Yeah. And we can just so we just basically we just laid the lattice right on the bed. This has already been, you know, loosened up. And we're gonna start planting our garlic. So you get a clove of garlic, you want it pointy end up, root side down, and we're just gonna wiggle the garlic cloves down into the soil approximately an inch 
inch and a half, something like that. And we're just going to fill all our little spaces in the lattice and continue doing this. And your points are still showing. And once you have it filled in one section, you're just going to move this and continue planting until your bed is filled with garlic cloves. Now it's time to cover the garlic and we're going to use this beautiful composted dirt. You can use regular dirt if you'd like, but we just got this compost out of the chicken pen and that our chickens, being chickens, composted for us. And we're going to just sprinkle a nice light layer, about an inch and a half, right, right over the garlic and that'll give the garlic some great nutrition too, besides covering it up, right? Yep. Exactly. It'll feed it and protect it from the freezes and frost that'll come when it starts getting colder. And this will hopefully make nice big cloves of garlic. Having the dirt or the compost or having using the compost is really nice because it makes it real nice and loose for the, the, for the garlic to spread. I've noticed that. It won't be packed down in there. So it'll just give it a lot of wonderful room. Well, now for our final stage, we're going to put this straw, this nice, wonderful straw, mulch, over the really nice black dirt that we just covered our garlic with. We're going to, this will protect it. What all will it do, Jazzy? Well, this will keep the weeds from coming, from growing before your garlic grows. And then it will also protect it from any hard freezes and frosts that are going to be coming throughout the winter and the garlic will just come right through this straw it'll sprout right through it so um, in a little while you'll be seeing green sprouts it kind of looks like um, grass thick grass well we hope this encourages you to grow some garlic now in the fall so you can harvest some wonderful healthy garlic in the early summer Join us again next time for more homestead tips, hints, recipes, and other blessings. And be sure to come by and visit our website. And we're not going to cover it yet. We're going to show you a great method. Right. Mm -hmm. We um <laughs> we learned that if you've grown cabbage in a in a 